Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. In this video, we'll be looking into the difference between variation and claim. Most quantity surveyors always confuse between these two terms. Some think that they are the same, but in actual, both these are different terminologies and they are applied in two different ways. So by the end of this video, you will have a clear idea about what a variation is and what a claim is. So without further delay, let's move into the video. Please don't forget to watch till the end to get a clear idea of both these terms and to understand what the difference is. So basically to understand the difference, we need to know what both variation and claim is. That is their definition. Then we'll also need to understand how they are proceeded, like how they are applied, the way they are operated in a construction project. And the last thing to know is how they are evaluated how a variation is calculated and how a claim is calculated. If we understand these three points, then we can have a clear idea about the difference of variation and a claim. First, we'll understand the definition of a variation and a claim. So variation is basically a compensation for the alteration in the original scope of work and claim is a compensation for the unexpected events that hinder the delivery of the original scope of work. So the one thing to understand here is or the one thing that is common here is the compensation and the original scope of work. So compensation can be both in terms of money and time. So variation is altering a physical work. When an original scope of work is physically altered that is called a variation and claim is when the delivery of the original work is delayed or is hindered due to some unexpected unforeseen circumstances or events when that happens then the compensation made for that is called a claim so at the end of the slide i'll be giving you some examples so from that you can easily understand the difference between alterations and unexpected events Next, let's see how both variation and a claim is proceeded in a construction project. Variation is usually instructed by the employer. So this can be in the form of a site instruction through drawing. Some comments will be given in the drawings or through official letters or documents. The employer is the one who instructs the contractor to carry out a variation and the contractor follows their instructions and carry out the works and a claim is usually notified by the contractor so through official letter a notification is sent to the employer by the contractor mentioning that such and such event has occurred due to which some delay will be happening in the delivery of the project or completing the project within the contractual time so for that a compensation will be required that is how a claim is proceeded in a construction project now let's understand how both variation and claim is evaluated or calculated the cost incurred for a variation and a claim or how they are valued in a construction project a variation will have some schedule of rates and prices and applying these rates and prices we can calculate a variation the usual construction rates the usual rate analysis of material labor tools machinery plan and the profit overheads all these are included in a variation the estimated quantities are taken off for that particular additional work and then these rates are included and the variation is calculated and the contractor submits it to the employer to finalize it and get the payment. But calculating the cost for claim will be based on the actual cost incurred, based on the labor, actual labor used or some additional delay will be happening in a claim and whatever expenses are incurred, the actual expenses are incurred due to that delay that is being calculated and the actual documentation of these costs are prepared and submitted by the contractor to the employer. And that is how a claim is calculated. So the actual cost here is incurred and in variations, the contractual rates and prices that is provided with the contract document that is utilized for calculating the variation cost. Now let's see an example of a variation and the claim so that it will be completely clear for you. So variation is basically additional works or deletion of works or a change in design. Sometimes there will be new light points. Sometimes there might be some additional new area. And for that, MEP and civil works needs to be carried out. There might be some change in the design, duct routing. So the, all these are examples of a variation work. So if you see here, the physical works are being altered. And if you see the claim, it is extension of time, EOT, acceleration claim, or unforeseen conditions affecting completion of the work. So sometimes there will be delay in receiving drawings or access for work, inspections. Then for acceleration works, there might be 
a requirement by the employer for increasing manpower for completing the work before schedule so for that the contractor will need to get additional manpower and for that they will be claiming the amount because as per their normal planning the number of manpower required will not be that much so for that additional manpower the claim will be submitted by the contractor so i hope this video is clear and you have an idea now about the difference between what a variation and a claim is so please do like this video if you found it to be useful share it with your friends and colleagues so that it can be useful for them also please don't forget to subscribe to quantity serving studio for more such informative videos thanks a lot for watching keep learning take care bye